I'm Raj and this is my home, an executive maisonette in Pasir Ris. I've been living here since 2009. The floor size is around 1,770 square feet and I reside with my partner and my mom. The style of my home is best described as ethnic eclectic, a restrained maximalist design that focuses on details, the use of different materials and unique bespoke pieces, some of which Aryan, our interior designer from Aden T, designed. Aryan did our renovations back when we first got our keys and because we loved what he did to the space, we decided to engage him again to do our renovation refresh. The grand foyer greets you the moment you step inside. The centerpiece changes depending on the season and we decorate it for most holidays and festivals. As we entertain large groups every now and then, the foyer serves as the area where we can set up a buffet or have a 20 people sit down lunch. With mom getting older, we created her own apartment within the apartment. Her bedroom used to be where the balcony is, but we converted that into her own sanctuary. Her bedroom opens out into her living room, where we included a handcuffed screen to create the illusion of a full height windows. The idea was to break away from the conventional HDB look. The bold mural wallpaper lends a colonial Indian vibe and keeps the space looking updated and contemporary. The dining room's feature reflects the living room's window screen, but it is simpler here. Instead of having a structure by the window, it was embedded with mirror panels so that the dining area could appear larger. We also wallpapered the ceiling to add a layer of texture and interest. The statement piece is this beautiful and luxurious custom Shondek chandelier. Ariane picked the colour for the armature and mixed natural rock crystal and coloured semi-precious stones with cut crystals for that brilliant sparkle. We picked a life edge marble slab as dining table and made a bespoke pedestal in brass. The chairs are upholstered in height and the furniture anchors on custom designed area rock. As the original balcony was replaced with mom's bedroom, we went with a glass window to open up the kitchen and to invite light in. It's also nice to interact with our guests sitting out in the dining area while we are cooking. Specially cut tiles created the tessellated floor and custom carved teak doors cover the spice cabinet. The rest of the cabinetry is finished in self-healing and fingerprint resistant laminates. We opted for a modern Victorian look with antique silver hardware. We decided to do up a home office when the pandemic struck and working from home became a thing. Located upstairs, it's designed around French-style antiques and based on William Morris' Arts and Crafts aesthetic. Arts and Crafts started as a reaction against mass production and the Industrial Revolution. William Morris focused on bringing back that handmade, handcrafted look into design. This approach still resonates today as we are living in a high-paced world and very hooked on technology and having heirloom designs and naturalistic patterns can help to soften the overall impression of a space. The wallpaper design originates from 1860. It's intentionally made to appear like it's block printed, which gives it this handmade look. It gives the feel of an Indian pattern. The curtains are done in the same motif. The primary suite is a combination of two original bedrooms and is linked to a walk-in wardrobe. The closet flanks the entrance into the ensuite bathroom. We segregated the suite such that one area is for sleeping and the other is our own living room for watching TV.
We get people who visit saying to us that they can't quite believe our home is an HDB, which is something we are quite proud of. The style of our home evolved to be as bold as it is today because we added a lot of our personality to it. Believe it or not, things started out to be more clean-lined. We think our home will continue to transform as we live here and our needs changes over time. So, watch this space.